Dangerous weather has affected millions of Americans this week. As of 6 o'clock Wednesday evening, more than 300,000 residents from Wisconsin to New Jersey were without power. The storm system is now moving east after sweeping across the middle of the country, pushing strong winds, heavy rain, and even tornadoes in some areas. National correspondent Dave Malkoff joins us now from Sunbright, Tennessee. Dave, we know that tornado warnings saved lives. Any idea how much of a heads up the neighborhood received uh, before the tornado touched down? Well, good evening, John. This morning, I called the National Weather Service here, and we went through an exercise. We, I asked them, when did you actually put out the warning for this area? And what was the time period between the warning and seeing all this debris on the radar? When it's spinning around, you can actually see that. John, it was 15 to 20 minutes. That is a lot longer than the national average, which is around 12 minutes or so. So people got a really good heads up when it came to this. And I actually have an amazing survival story because of that. There is a family who lives in this house right here, and they heard that warning. So they grabbed their two kids. They came outside of the house, John, with their kids in their arms. They knew that if they got over here, the Hambies could walk up to this house where the dogs are barking right now and get underneath that porch. But this tornado debris started swirling around them. Mrs. Hamby, she actually got pulled into the suction of that vortex that was going around. Her husband grabbed her by the hoodie and pulled her in. Then the man who lives in here, Kevin, he grabbed all four of them and pushed them underneath that. John, that was the first time this family, even though they lived next door, met each other because of that heroic effort right in the middle of the tornado. Wow. Uh, that's a heck of a story, Dave. Um, yeah. What, uh, what do we know about why there are so many tornadoes in that area lately? Do we know, is there any explanation for that? Yeah, you kind of think of tornadoes classically as being in Tornado Alley, maybe in Oklahoma or something like that. But there is um, a shift that's happening where tornadoes days, the days that are more favorable for tornadoes are shifting east. You can see that that's actually happening. It is right here. And that is in line with the climate change models. But we cannot say that all of this was caused because of climate change. John, that is an active study situation for the scientists who are studying this, trying to connect these two things. That's something that they're still trying to do right now. But it is in line with the models of what we think would happen if we have a warmer environment all over the planet. Dave Malkoff in Sunbright, Tennessee, with the reporting and the stories. Thanks a lot, Dave.